So we're on High Holborn in WC1 to look at the Princess Louise. Now the Princess Louise is built in the fashion of what we call a gin palace. It wasn't a gin palace during the era of gin palaces, it's a, it's a rebuild. Now what makes gin palaces so special? Okay, now during 1688, after what we call the Glorious Revolution, William of Orange, William III, who had come from Holland with a Dutch army, introduced gin, helping his Dutch allies. But the problem was, gin was the day's version of heroin, and it destroyed people. So it was banned. And when they unbanned it, they built gin palaces in a gentrified fashion, so that the punters and the public, especially the middle and upper classes, would start spending money on it. And so, as a result, they're very elaborate, often have snugs, beautiful snob screens, and we're gonna have a quick look at an example just here. And as I said, there'll be more on this in the future. The amazing interior of the Princess Louise contains many private wooden compartments which surround an impressive U-shaped bar. But another strange but interesting quirk to this pub is the fact its urinals are actually listed. So this is a Samuel Smith's pub, and I'll tell you what, they're almost invariably, Samuel Smith's pubs are some of the most ornate, most elaborately designed, some of the most beautiful pubs. I mean, take for example, in London alone, you've got the Windsor Castle in Victoria, the old Cheshire Cheese on Fleet Street. So there's many of them. I'm yet to be unimpressed by the architecture. It has to be said that Sam Smiths really do go above and beyond. You don't have to be into their alcohol to be into the effort they make to keep a beautiful pub. And not only beautiful pubs, but to relate them to our history. And for some of us, William of Orange and his like aren't necessarily people that we, we, we like. But little features like this are things that we're glad are left in history. Anyway, think for yourself. We'll see you soon. Take care.